Hey everyone, Dev Spider here. So I picked up Sons of the Forest today. Just like everyone else, it took me about 30 minutes to an hour of just fighting with Steam to finally be able to buy the game. Uh, we got into it, did a test stream for about four hours. So if you want to check that out, it'll be on the live stream section. Uh, you can watch me die, watch me struggle, watch me sweat bullets as I figure out how to do things. Uh, we did manage to get a lot done. We found the modern axe, we found the stun gun, we found the rebreather. Uh, so far, the game seems to be a lot like the forest, but with a lot of small tweaks that make it even better. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into a new fresh playthrough. So we're going to do single player, new game. We're going to go in normal mode like always. I highly advise this because there's a lot of, I guess, fighting. Uh, it can get kind of rough at times. I'm still figuring out some of the games, so I'll probably be rough in a few spots. But besides that, this game is everything we hope for. Graphics are amazing. The build system's pretty awesome and cool. There's, if you aren't familiar with the game and you're not familiar with the forest, it's definitely a learning curve. So I'd advise paying attention at least to this first episode. I'll do the best I can to walk everybody through everything that I currently know and the best ways to do things like getting food, um, eating, sleeping, uh, building your first shelter, how logs work, because they're a little bit, or not a little bit, they're a lot different than any other survival game I've played so far. So with that, let's jump into the cutscene. Alright, so we're currently chilling on the chopper with Fish Eye and Kelvin. Alright, so I was letting that radio chatter finish. So we're going to the island as far as I can tell to search for these people on our computer. Now you'll pretty much fly on the helicopter non-stop until you scroll over using the Delta key right here. So we're looking for Edward Puffton, Barbara Puffton, and Virginia Puffton. I don't really think any other other stats on here really matter. So with that, you can just press D. It'll give you a site map of the island, uh, show you some key locations on it from an aerial view. And then once you get done scrolling with that, you can go back through it by pressing A as an alpha. Otherwise, hit E and echo, and you can jump right into the game. So we're going to do that now. Alright, so we just crash landed. <laughs> I have no idea who this guy is, but he really does not like us. Alright, well so far things are starting off different than they did last time. Last time I landed on the beach, now we're in the snow-capped mountains. That's cool though, I'm gonna head probably back to the same spot. I, th I bet we're probably somewhere close to it. I don't know anything about the snow in this game yet, I hadn't made it this far. Oh, there's actually fish in the water up here? I haven't seen any fish in the water except for like one spot so far. Alright, so with that, the game works like it's usually worked at WASD. Make sure that you check your settings and that you're not overstraining it. I really would like to try to catch these fish. Alright, so right here, this is a clean water source, fresh water, so you can just walk up to it, hold E, and you can drink that, it'll charge your water all the way up to max. If you look in the lower right screen, at the bottom, you'll see a mini-map, 
The blue bar is our stamina, the red bar is our health. As you can see, it's non-existent. The bars that go next to the red bar, that would be armor if we had any on us. Oh look, there's a snow bunny. Um, <laughs> okay, so blue stamina, red's health, around that is armor. Uh, there's a little flexing muscle at the top. That levels up. I'm not really sure what the strength does, but every time I was building a building, that leveled up. We got to like level 3, I think. Uh, next to that's water. Next to that is food. And the next to that is sleep. All three of those affect your stamina. So strength, maybe we just get increased stamina. I'm not positive about that. So let's go over here and check on Kelvin, see how he's doing. He's kind of having a rough day, worse than ours. Now Kelvin is bleeding out the ears. <laughs> he's not all together there. He's pretty much a mute now. Uh, he's going to be our little buddy. He's going to follow us around and help us out. And Kelvin loves sticky notes. Alright, so here we've got our menu to tell him what we want him to do. Alright, so if you press S, it'll go down. W, it'll go back up. So we can tell him, like, just hold E when you're looking at him, you can tell him what to do. For now, we're just going to tell him to follow us, so we'll press D as in Delta. We show it to him, and then we stick it to him. Or not. Normally we slap the note on his chest. Did it not work right? Oh. Maybe there was a patch while I was gone? <laughs> Had to go coach softball today, guys. Sorry about that. I kind of, like, lost it. Oh, he should follow us. Alright, so we can loot these chests, just hold E. A lot like the forest when you first crash. We got a tarp there, some an MRE pack and a duct tape. Uh, if we press G as in golf, it'll put whatever item is in your hands away. Alright, so four buckshot, two stun gun ammo collected. That guy is dead, so we're not worried about him. So we got a watch and some 100 printer resin collected. Not really sure what the resin's for yet. Four slug ammo collected from that box. Make sure we don't miss any crates. Uh, the one resource I found that was I think is kind of rare and uh, you want to keep up with is rope. Alright, so some 9 mil, some stun gun right there. We got us another crate over on this side of the water. Alright, two C4 bricks out of that crate. Alright, so we're definitely going to go up this mountain. I feel like I don't want to build up here. There's no trees. Alright, I mean, there's some trees, but not as many as down. So I think we're going to head for that channel right there, because if I'm not mistaken, that's where I landed last time. Uh, to find out for sure, we can get our GPS and everything up and working. So the game does not come with an extensive tutorial. There's a lot of trial by fire. So press I as in India, and that's going to open our inventory right here. Add items to the mat to open or combine them. Press E for OK. Alright, so this little cog wheel here, this will eventually tell you some basic recipes once you find stuff. If you mouse over these crates, they'll open. Now these two crates so far, all that I've noticed is that they hold ammo. We do have the backpack which says add items. I'm not really sure. I didn't really get around to figuring out exactly what that is unless we can carry more than one bag. Tarps, we can carry multiple of these. We'll use those to set up shelters. And then each different slot on this is going to hold different types of items. So like right here is our medicine, some basic crafting stuff here at the bottom food up right here on these slots. Uh, this is the printer ink or the printer resin. Our knife. Weapons will go here. The bow will go on the far left. And then you'll see as we get start collecting more and more items but you can just kind of mouse around and see what you've picked up. If we mouse all the way over and far down that's where your clothing is stored. So we should, I think we're already wearing this jacket so I don't, because left click doesn't do anything on that. Um, at night time this thing's awesome because if you look at these little white knobs here you can power this on to turn the lights on. This other one, you can change the light color to whatever you find most pleasing. <laughs> All right, so besides that, we've got this pack right here, and there's other packs we can find in the game to open. I've got one off of killing some of the locals. It's a skin pack, so it opens the same way this does, so just right-click on it. It'll put it... Anything you right-click on will go to the center of the mat if, mat if it's craftable, which will gray out a lot of other stuff. So if you are trying to mess with something else and you misclick, just click that back off of the center of the map, or the mat, and you'll be good to go. Alright, so right here it says click the gear to open the emergency pack. So right here, just click that. It's the same thing as if you're crafting an item, which we'll go over as soon as we get to it. So here we're going to get us a tactical axe, the GPS tracker, the guidebook, and the lighter. So these are the items that are going to keep us alive. 
Uh, like I said, you can just right click these. It'll put them in their spots where they're going to live. We'll go ahead and equip our hatchet. And then if we press M as in map, it should pull our GPS out. Then we get the quest find team B, zero out of three. So we need to find three guys that were on our team. Um, another thing we can do since our health is low, we can use some of this medicine right here. Go ahead and eat it. And that'll give us some hit points back. Now it's super critical right now, but eventually the natives and the locals will get mad at us. So with the GPS out, again, press M as in map to open that. If you want to, you can also use the middle mouse button and click on that and it'll zoom in and out. And that's going to show you some key points. So you've got the purple little exclamations. That's going to be the B team. And I've, I'm not sure what the green things are. I've been to one or two of them. Uh, they take some tools that I haven't found yet. So we'll go with those when we get there. Those white markings on the map, those are caves. I did fully, ex I want to say fully explored one cave. I know what's in it. Yeah, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I, I don't know really, hopefully I'm not spoiling stuff for anybody. Uh, if I am, I'm, I'm really sorry. I just tell me to tone it down a bit. But there's some really uh, terrifying things in the caves, we'll just say that much. Which is to be expected of a forest game. So I'm going to make my way down the mountain. Kelvin's on follow, so he'll keep up. Now he, let me get away from this waterfall, I know it's kind of loud. So he can fall way behind. Now the K on the minimap, or on the GPS and on the minimap, that's Kelvin. So you'll know he's coming, like he follows. Now even if he gets attacked and downed, uh, just keep running. He makes a really, really good decoy. Eventually he'll get back up and uh, catch up to you. So don't worry about Kelvin. He'll take care of himself for the most part. All right, so I'll see you guys once I get down to the forest or find something else interesting. I didn't realize there's going to be two caves right here where we crashed at. It'd be fun to explore them, but I'm not really going to worry about that just yet. Food and surviving. Sh shelter, storage, that's more my priority at the moment. Uh, you can chop down these small trees and bushes. They'll give you branches. Uh, not branches, yeah, branches, leaves. I don't see any dropping off of these, though. Maybe these medium-sized ones. Okay, right there. So you can pick up these sticks. You'll get new crafting recipes as you pick things up. Or so, so the game says. I think you already have them. It's just a matter of... Do you have the items to make the stuff? I'm not really sure how fall damage works just yet. I haven't taken any because I've been really careful. In games like this, you want to just be on the lookout because you can get killed easily. All right, so like right there was a small rock. You're going to want some of those. Uh, your inventory, when it's full, you'll know it. It'll stop letting you pick up that one item. You'll just kind of throw it in one direction. So far, I've seen two different types of rocks. So you've got th these regular rocks or these larger rocks, and then you have the smaller ones. So on your way down the mountain, if you land on the mountain, just go ahead and collect up all of the branches and rocks you can carry. You'll use them or you can always just throw them on the ground. Cut down some bushes, they'll eventually give you some leaves. Make sure you pick up your small stone, you're going to want those. And like I said, I'll see you guys once we reach the bottom, making sure to drink fresh water when we get down there. Again, sorry for the noise. All right, so we made it somewhat down the mountain right here. I wanted to cover this. We have got we have berry bushes. There are different berry bushes. They have different types. You have blackberries, blueberries, twin berries, salmon berries, uh, lots of different vegetation. You've got mushrooms, medicinal plants. Uh, if we keep moving down, that sounded kind of scary. I don't know what that sound was. I haven't found a use for the spider webs yet. And some rocks, when you move them, you find spiders under them. Uh, again, I have not found a use for those. Like right here, you see those little spiders running. You can hit them and stun them. But again, it's, it's done me no good. There's a plethora of wildlife. I've seen moose. I've seen squirrels, rabbits. I'm trying to think what else there's. I feel like I saw some kind of other animal. I mean, we saw the snow rabbits, and we also have like the wild rabbits, the little brown ones. Right, so let's keep gathering as we move. Uh, berries give you a little bit of food back, but not a ton. They're, they're really, I want to say they're not worth the effort. You get seeds from them, so you can eventually grow them. Maybe they'll save you in a bad situation. It just takes a lot of them to get anything done. Okay, so our inventory is getting full as we move. I'm really hoping I know where I'm at. I'm not on the opposite side of the mountain, or we're going to be learning a whole brand new game. So I'm going to head towards the beach. Once I get to the beach and figure out where, I, like my location, uh, we'll go from there. Now, there are all these good things. I should have covered this too. So if I zoom in on my map, you see those little brown paths? Those are really good to follow. We're actually at... Yeah, I think I know where I'm at. So if we go this way... Uh, the, I'm trying to think. This could be a spoiler. I don't know. We're going to call this episode one. Here's your warning. Skip a few minutes ahead if you don't want to see this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and complete one of the quests while I'm right here. Or not one of the quests, but one of the mission. Part of the mission. So if you listen really closely, I'll be quiet in a second. You will hear a beeping sound. That means we're getting close to one of the party members. Oh, here's some more of the berries. We'll grab those while we're right here. These are salmon berries. And then these are blueberries right behind it. 
It'll save your life in a pinch. Alright, so we're going to keep following this little tracker. And you hear the sound getting louder and louder. Alright, so here's my favorite resource that I try to get as much of it as I can. Uh, it's rope. So we're just going to press E and gather the rope. Right here we have some energy bars. We're going to grab those. We have vodka. If anybody who's played the forest knows, vodka is extremely important. That was the sound of a native. <laughs> I don't see them. They must be below us. Uh, and they can get aggressive. They will attack you sometimes without any reason. They'll jump out of bushes and be like all but invisible. Alright, so you might be like, hey, where's this guy? Why, why is this thing beeping? What do I do? And if you walk down, down below us on this cliff, you're like, hey, where's he at? I still don't see him. Well, he's hanging out, guys. He's, uh, he's hanging out right here. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of a dark joke, but yeah, he's just hanging out. He's chilling, waiting on somebody to find him. What is it? It might be in a tree, too. Those things are scary. They always freak me out. All right, so to get him down, we're going to cut this rope right here. And then we need to head down. Again, I, I don't know how fall, fall damage works. Oh, there's a bird. So if you kill birds, you can get feathers. And I missed them, of course. All right, so we'll get some birds later. <laughs> but birds will give you feathers. You need feathers to make arrows. It's, uh, it's going to be a high commodity resource. Arrows do decent damage. I, th I find them pretty effective. Uh, getting used to using arrows and shooting the bow is a little bit rough. Um, this game does have, uh, what, what do they call it, uh, drop over distance when you fire the arrows. Uh, same thing with spear throws. I have not figured out how to throw a spear to save my life in this game yet. Like, I know how to throw it, but I don't know how to throw it and get it to do anything good. Alright, so we're going to come down here. We found the guy that was just hanging out above us. We're going to put this away because it's kind of annoying. And we can pick up the bottle right there. Another vodka bottle there. Always keep an eye out, look around for anything strange like tents and stuff. You'll find all kinds of good loot. Um, right here we can press E to pick up his GPS tracker. And we can get us a flashlight. You're definitely going to want this flashlight, I promise you. <laughs> That's kind of why I wanted to go over this part. It's going to make life, I'm hoping, easier. I could be wrong. I do not want it equipped, though. So I'm going to go ahead, let me see. Yeah, I pressed L to put it away because it took the spot of our lighter. Because uh, flashlights take batteries, so you don't want to. you want to use it very sparingly. The torches in the game... They are torches. They're not very. They don't work very well. So don't don't count on using torches. Uh, you're you're kind of better off just using the lighter. So now that I kind of know where I'm at, we're gonna follow this path down here, and I think I'm gonna be able to lead us to a really really good item. I know it's around here somewhere, and I'm gonna look until I find it. And that item is called the modern axe. Now I haven't even used that. I, f I just found it on my live stream before I ended it earlier, and that thing to me in the last game, the forest, was amazing. Like it just it just changes the whole game, the whole speed and flow of getting things built and done. So I'm kind of glad we crashed on that mountain. It brought me right to where I needed to be. So what we're looking for right now, I can actually... See. What? I hear you, but I don't see you. Creepy little thing. Alright, so we're going to try not to kill them for a minute. Eventually, we're going to want to kill them. <laughs> I want their bones. Uh, not to sound crazy, but yeah, I want their bones. Um, I want to say what I'm looking for is down this way. And I can show you on the GPS map in a minute. Oh yeah, so you see these tents here? I think this is what we're looking for right here. So the GPS tracker was just up that path. Okay, that freaked me out. So that's a radio. Uh, throughout the game, you'll find music and radios. Here's a squirrel. Let's get that. All right, squirrels, rabbits, good source of meat. So you hit them. It'll kill them. Harvest them. And we're going to get us a piece of meat. It's really good food. We don't don't eat it raw. You can you can eat a lot of stuff in this game raw. All right, we just picked some mushrooms up too. Like I said, there's all kinds of stuff in the game. All right, so you're gonna find these camps. Uh, let me turn the radio off. I know that you're, everybody's jamming out right now, but let me kind of kill this for a second. So you just hold E to turn it off. You press E to change channels if you want to interact with the radios. Like I said, the we can squat down here and check it out. Their graphics on this stuff is pretty awesome. Um, the books I've yet to find a use for. You can't smash them or do anything with them. Um, totes here, obviously. Open them up. You're going to get all kinds of stuff. Like We just got some wire, some printer resin out of that one. Some crunchies and stuff out of that one. We can smash that laptop. Just like the original forest. It's going to give us some microchips. I cannot pick up these bottles. Um, look inside the tents. Usually just, E will save the game for you. Z will let you sleep. Like the sleep is very important. It will also get you through the night, which is super dark. Uh, but look inside of them. A lot of times you're going to find loot inside of them. What does that butterfly want? Get out of my face. All right, so we just got some more meds there. Energy drinks. I would save your energy drinks. Only use them inside of caves. Or like on really, really long trips. 
All right, so we got a backpack. We can't do anything here. This should be a laptop. I'm smash that. I lost that board. It just took off across the map. Oh, well. We'll be more careful later on when we smash things. <laughs> so like right here, you can save, sleep, but there's also vodka in the tent. We're going to take that. Let's open this case. More C4. Um, I haven't built any bombs or anything crazy just yet. It is definitely on my to-do list. Probably don't need to... Wait. Yeah, I just held E on that mushroom and we just ate it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Nope, that's bad. <laughs> Might have to use some of that medicine we just got. Alright, so we got some flares in this case. And then the main item I was looking for right here... Uh, oh yeah, check these lunch boxes. More energy drinks there. You can also get food. We have another laptop. Let's smash that. Circuit board out of that one. And right here in this guy's chest, modern axe. Check that out. We just got the modern axe. Like, I mean, that's probably game changing. Like I said, never used it. So with that, this is a great start. We're going to do a save. Um, let's see, I kind of want to overwrite my day one because that was like my original test game where I died. It was uh, it was brutal. <laughs> Made a lot of mistakes. Learned a lot. Um, we had MRE right here. Again, that's just a radio. I think that's about all we have except for maybe these totes. So um, that was a zipline rope collected. Open this one, wire, duct tape. You know what, let's check out the modern axe. I actually haven't looked at it yet. Um, I don't really like the party color here. Let's go... Kind of like... Yeah, yellow is kind of good. Let's go with that. Alright, so like I said, here we've got the lighter, uh, the flashlight, the knife. The knife's very useful. We can actually do something with the knife right now. Let's go... And... I did not mean to equip that. If you left mouse button, it's going to equip it. So we're going to go ahead and do combine. So right mouse button that. We're going to add two sticks. And then we need, what is it, duct tape? Yeah, so we need to add it. So you see that little, like right here, if you hover over this, it tells you the possible recipes and what you need for it. Now, I do want to make a crafted club. I do like the crafted club, so we need a skull for that. But the crafted spear, that little spiral looking thing at the left of the knife icon next to crafted spear, that's duct tape. So we're going to add a piece of that. You hear that ding means you have a recipe ready. Right click that cogwheel, and we're going to craft. Now we have a handy dandy spear. So we're going to right mouse button that. It's going to throw it back into our inventory. If we have enough, I'd like to go ahead and build the the bow. Because I do like the bow. So we'll come up with, what else do we need for the bow? Oh, we don't have any, we don't need feathers for the bow. We just need rope. So the rope's up here at the top right. And a piece of duct tape. I believe we'll finish it. Combine that together. MacGyver music. Knocking it out. Bam. Pro status right there. Like we're already farther in this game than it took me five days to do another game. <laughs> So they're looking good, guys. It's a great start so far. All right, so with that, um, I really don't know what we do with wire. Let me see what the recipes we have. Tech armor. Tech armor sounds awesome. Um, I did have bone armor and mutant armor in the last one. Pretty easy to get, as long as you can kill stuff. Um, here's the meat we've been collecting. So we have raw meat. We'll have to cook that later. We'll need to get some more sticks and everything filled up. I don't think there's really anything else we need to go over right here. So right here, we've got the GPS locator that we picked up. MREs, I like to save these for emergency food because your meat can rot. So... Keep your eyes on that. So I, I like to save my energy bars and these MREs for long trips. Uh, another good thing we should have gone over to on the GPS. So if you look in the top right corner of that GPS, it tells you what time it is. It is currently 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, that means it's going to get dark before long. Just do a quick scan. Make sure I didn't miss anything crazy. Let's grab us a sip of water. Now keeping your stats up, that will keep your stamina bar up as far as the maximum amount. You see where it just went up. And I still want to keep heading towards the beach. Let me zoom out. Yeah, I want to head down to that cave. I think that's where I'm, I want to go first. All right, so hopefully we can find some birds on the way to kill. But the seagulls on the beach, that's the easiest birds to hunt. Um, they're super easy to kill, super easy to find. Wait, is this one of the plants we can harvest? Yeah, so right here is another plant. That's the yarrow. So if you see it, like a weird-looking herb plant on the ground, it we can go ahead and gather that. We're already full on blueberries. We've got a squirrel. There's one of the new locals. Just went up that tree. Creepy little things freak me out. So I'm going to just keep gathering small stone. We just, we're going to need a lot of that small stone. And I'm going to kill all these little animals that I run across. Actually, to do that, let's go ahead and get our spear out. It's just easier to reach them with it. So we got a squirrel here. We got him. I think you can hold like seven to eight pieces of meat. So, don't, you know, don't be bashful. Get what you need. Now you see he's sneaking around in these bushes and, and hiding behind us. Oh, what is this? Ducks? Can I, huh. can I hit you out of the air? I haven't seen a flock of ducks like that before. That's cool. If I had a 
a bow, I'd try to shoot one. There we go. We, oh. Okay, so when you hit things, you see those floating feathers? We can get grab those if we can catch them. And that'll give us a feather that we need. Oh, we can actually skin the duck? Okay, cool. Let's do that. Alright, ducks. Good to know. I did not know that they would give us meat. Some of the birds don't give meat. At least I haven't been able to get meat off of them. Alright, so we, like I said, we'll worry about the feathers when we get farther down. Not a big deal right now. I think we're good on rocks. And, oh yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting. I don't know if I said this or not, because I keep starting it, then I get distracted. Like this right here. I'm like a like a small child, like squirrel. <laughs> Come here, son. Thank you, buddy. You're helping the greater cause. All right, that's probably enough meat to keep us going for a minute. I don't know why you're staring at me. It makes me want to shoot you in the face. Uh, sometimes if they just stare at you like that, they'll get mad, try to kill you. I think most of the time I've gotten aggression from them by making fires. Uh, Kelvin, he likes to run around and point at them. In case we don't see him, he likes to let us know where they're at. I don't know if he'll do it right now. Do it, Kelvin. Point at him, Kelvin. Oh, he's having a staring contest with him. I think he's winning. Oh, there's more than one. Well, that's always fun. But a lot of times they'll come up to you, check you out. Uh, usually, I think as long as you don't hurt them, they'll leave you alone for a little bit. Oh, here's the other NPC. I haven't figured out how to use her yet. So let's put our weapon away. Maybe she won't be scared. She runs away from me every time I've tried interacting with her. Well, this is the... That's the calmest she's ever been. What is it, girl? What is it? You want to be friends? What What do you need from me? You look weird. I don't know, maybe we need to follow her at some point. Uh, well, she obviously doesn't like these guys that are gathering around us now. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure out what to do with her later. Um, but don't kill her if you see her. She's, she's never attacked me. She seems... I'm pretty sure she's the NPC we can use. I just got to figure out what to do in order to get her to join us. Uh, okay, back again to my sidetrack thing. Okay, so looking at the GPS here. If you zoom in, you see those brown roads? Follow those brown roads. A lot of time they'll lead you to those little camps, like the tents. Um, they will also lead you to the local camps, <laughs> or the tribes. Uh, be careful on some of those. They don't like it when you steal. They don't like it when you kill. Right, so let me keep on making my way down here. We're going to find us a path to get on, and then we're going to keep heading towards the beach. And again, that's middle mouse button if you want to adjust your zoom in, zoom out. And if you have the item in your hand, again, press G as in golf. You can put that item away and then press I as in India. Open your inventory back up and grab whatever you want from there. Actually, that's what I wanted to do too. I've never looked at the modern axe. I want to see what it looks like. All right, so there's a modern axe. If anybody's interested. I think it's going to help us cut down trees really, really fast compared to what we normally do with the little hatchet. And we can, we'll go both ways just to test it, see what the speed difference is. Uh, we do need more sticks again. And, of course, tiny little rocks. Oh, here's another plant. That's the fireweed. It's getting kind of dark. I hate being in the woods at night. That's how I died on my first game. And we haven't saved yet. We do need to make a shelter to save in. We should be getting pretty close to the beach. I keep wanting to press M to open up, like, the large map. Um, when it gets dark in the game, guys, it gets dark. And I, I highly advise sleeping. But you can only sleep when there's nothing aggressive around you. So you definitely want to find you a good place to set up a base. Probably put it in the wall or something. All right, everybody. So it's getting pretty dark. We still haven't made it to the beach just yet. The game's... I mean, the, the island's not, like, massively huge. Of course, every time I start talking, I get near a waterfall. Um, yeah, the, the map's not, like, super, super huge, but it's big enough to keep you busy. I get scared every time I come around a corner and see a, see a shiny white bush or something. Yeah, it's definitely... You're definitely going to build probably multiple bases or little outposts unless you're just, like, running at night. But it, as you can see, it's really dark. And my game's got a little bit of extra brightness that I've added to it, uh, just for recording purposes. However, if I press L, well, there's my flashlight, which I don't want, but it works amazing. So we go back into our inventory. And again, you can change the color right here to whatever you want. Yeah, there's the one I like. That's the color I like. It's nice and bright. Shows all the colors of everything else, so I can easily identify things. Um, we're going to equip the lighter, though. Gives off a nice little purple ambulance. <laughs> It's actually not bad though. It worked, this little bit of light right here works way better than the torch. All right, so now we're down at the beach. I'm hoping this is my beach that I'm, I'm familiar with. We're not gonna build on the beach though. I think we're gonna build in the woods because I've not found a good way to carry logs. If somebody knows how to carry a lot of logs, let me know. I'm only know how to carry two logs, so I'm gonna build near freshwater and where there's a bunch of trees because some of these recipes are really really expensive. But to get started, we're going to come down here. I'm going to I want to build kind of near this cave that I saw down here cuz I think it's the cave I explored already. 
Let's get our map back out. Okay, yeah, so it's right over here. Can I, I can't drink this fresh water right here. All right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Because we're, we're, we're getting ready to end the episode. I feel like it's pretty good so far. We've gone over how to, like, recover one body, how to get the modern axe, how lights work. Uh, I'm going to go over how to make a fire in case you don't want to tell Kelvin to make you one. I keep wanting to call him Kevin. I know that cave's, like, right here. Probably shouldn't build right on top of it, but, you know, we'll be all right. It's just, like, a save point. It's not going to be anything permanent. Granted, this little spot out here, I mean, that might not be bad if I can figure out how to transport tons of logs. Like, maybe the old zipline trick from the forest will work, because that'd be great. Okay, so, like, right here, but we want to get our light out so we can see, because there could be stuff to loot here. I already see something I want. All right, so we've, we have buckets right here. I haven't found anything you can do with these yet. If someone else does, let me know. I do want the skull. That's what I want to use to make uh, my favorite melee weapon. The spear is okay. Not a huge fan. Um, some of the fish you can pick up, but if they're laying out like this, they're going to be rotten fish. I have not found a use for those just yet. And here's the cave, guys. Or the first cave I found. So it's boarded up. We're actually going to leave this one boarded up for now. But if you want to, and we're going to cover this on the next episode, maybe the third episode, because I kind of want to get some storage type stuff built before I go in here. Well, that I, I need armor and stuff. Like You don't want to just walk into this cave. It's not, uh, not the easiest thing on the planet. Uh, I felt like I made a mistake when I went in first. I got lucky, did some damage. And we covered it. So let's go over here. Because I don't hate this beach. Like, it's not bad. And if you look around on the beach, you can find things. Like, you can find these pebbles. Uh, seagulls spawn over here. There's turtles somewhere nearby. I saw them crawling on the beach the last time I was here. And over here in the water, you can find oysters. Let me see. There should be some around here somewhere. I have to go a little bit farther out. But there's... It's kind of in the shallows, kind of towards the deep. But there's definitely oysters out here on the beach. Uh, it's going to be hard to see them at night. Definitely plenty of rocks to see. Alright game, don't make me a liar. I, harvest, I harvested a bunch the last time I played. Where are they at? I, mean, I know the beach I found them on, so I might, maybe I need to go back over there to that one. That's just a small pebble. We'll take that though. You're going to need a lot of these, I promise. Grab all the small ones you can, that you find. But this, yeah, this, yeah, we should have a good seagull spawn right here. They just flock to this place. Right, so we're gonna go a little bit closer to the woods so if we do need some trees maybe i want to build like a temp shelter right here we can but i like the beach just for like doing a playthrough like this because you can see what i'm doing all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our inventory again that's i as in india we're gonna click on one of our tarps now you'll find more of these throughout the map so don't you know don't worry about it too much all right so here on the menu when you're building stuff q as in quebec and r as in romeo that allows you to rotate the item in whatever direction you want so we'll place this right here like so Press G to put it away. Um, next, we want to get our get out some sticks. So we'll grab a stick. Now, a good way to grab a stick, though. Okay, so we have a stick right here, right? So if you want to grab that stick, well, let me use one stick first. So to raise this to where you can save and use it, look at one of the corners. You'll see that up arrow. Then use the left mouse button and just click. And he's going to stab the stick into the ground and use it like a stake. That's really important to know. That's the, that's going to be a mechanic you're going to get used to to build all kinds of stuff. All right, so if you say you, like right now, we put the stick away, and we'll put our spear away. All right, so we have nothing in our inventory, right? Actually, I'm going to press G again. That was weird that I brought the spear back out. I hadn't seen that before. So now we have a stick right here. Say that's something you want equipped. Hold E. Don't just press E, but hold it, and it'll actually equip it. Or if it's food, it'll eat it. Or you'll eat it, I guess I should say. All right, so we could save and sleep with just one part of the tent up. I like to put the whole tent up just because it looks cool. So that is our tent. Now we can hold E to save. And which game? So yeah, double zero right here. And we can also build a campfire. Now then, so this is the part that gets kind of complicated, and this is what we're going to end the video on, okay, guys? Because I feel like I've covered a lot of material. Um, my main goal here was just to get everybody started. And this is one of the most important things in the game you want to do. Oh, I guess I, I... Let me go over cooking meat, too, right after we get to the fire built. Okay, so if you look at the ground, it's hard to see. I'll see if I can zoom in on my editing software, but you should see those two little stick icons right there. I kind of move them in a circle. Really, really hard to see. It's dotted lines. So if we use the left mouse button, we'll make a fire. Now if we click right, right mouse button, and you need to remember this because it applies to a lot of things you're crafting a building with. So if we click right mouse button, you'll see a circle. Alright, so with the circle, if I left click, we just stab the stick in the ground. And then we can do all kinds of stuff with that. We can put a skull on it, we can sharpen it, we can... I mean, it did... It, it gets complicated, so uh, we'll cover that later on. Now, if I don't want that stick there, I can hold C, as in Charlie. Just hold it. You'll pick it back up so you don't lose the item. So they're going to use the right mouse button again. Again, you see the two stick icons. Left click. We're going to snap the stick, throw it on the ground. 
We're going to throw two more on the ground. We have a little fire made. Press and hold E, our lighter. We're going to hit those leaves that I told you to gather earlier. And bam, we now have a fire. Now, with this fire made, there's different types of fires. That's a standard fire. Then we have these rocks here. So let's grab a big rock. You'll see these little circles. Let's place those down. And this is going to make a fortified fire. So the first one is just like a campfire. It's just a basic fire. And this is a fortified fire. Um, what it does, I have no idea. Maybe longer burn time. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but that's what I do. <laughs> Why not? There's plenty of big stones. Uh, he can go gra gather big stones if we tell him to. Now then, while the fire is on and lit, press and hold E again. We'll pull up part of our inventory right here. So we, right here we've got leaves, so we can put more fuel on the fire. And then right here is our raw meat. So we're going to use the left mouse button and add our raw meat to the fire. And pay attention to the color of it. You can burn stuff. So right now you see it's a bright red. We're going to press G as in gold. And it's going to close our menu. We're actually going to put our lighter away because it's easier to see just with the basic meat. Now you can pull it off while it's raw meat, but right now you can see we're tired and we are hungry. Now we're not going to eat until after we sleep. Okay, I could see that really well. Now I can't see it really well. I think it's, I think it might be cooked. Nope, that, we burnt the meat. Great. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I was talking too much. So while I was talking, we burnt the meat. I don't really know what burnt meat does. Let's eat a piece of it and see what happens. Charcoal, I know, used to have a, a purpose, unless I'm thinking of a different game. Okay, so it sounds like it made us kind of sick, but it did give us some food. So we'll take that. Oh yeah, my bad guys. So you're going to watch, like I said, watch that color. Uh, you're going to pick it up pretty fast. Alright, so then we can come back over here. We're going to save again. Because you know, we could crash the game or something while we're sleeping. Replace and save existing game, yes. And then hold Z to sleep. And bam. Sorry about the brightness. Um, brand new day. We've got some guys hanging out over there, literally. <laughs> Our cave is back over that way. And we came down from the mountain. So as you can see, we made a pretty good trip. I can share on the map really on the GPS the best I can where we're at. So that's where we're currently at. You get, the best way to triangulate if you're trying to find my current location would be to use those green flashing dots, the mountain, and those two purple exclamation marks. And guys, we are currently on day two. So I feel like we did a great day one, day zero video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you liked it. We're going to get started on day two. If you drop me any tips and advice, I really appreciate that. I'll read it and respond to you, get back to you as soon as I can. Um, again, make sure you pay attention as I sign off right here. You see our food and our hunger. We're starving We're <laughs> and we're super thirsty. And we're still not maxed out on sleep yet. So always make a note of that. Keep track of that and watch your stamina bar, guys. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out.